Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these super delicious apple and pear cinnamon crepe rolls with a rich date and peanut butter sauce. So here I have three conference pears and three gala apples. I'm preparing them by peeling and cutting them into small slices. I love pears for its sweetness, but if you don't like the slight grainy texture, then by all means replace them with three more apples instead. Apples are lovely and sweet with a hint of sharpness that goes perfectly well with a rich date and peanut butter sauce, which I'll show you how to make later on in this video, so make sure to watch till the end. Transfer the fruit pieces into a saucepan on medium heat to make sure that the fruits don't burn. Then add some cinnamon to lift up that lovely fruitiness with its woody, peppery and vanilla-like aroma that warms up your senses. I prefer to use bits of whole cinnamon, but you can use one teaspoon of cinnamon powder instead. Add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, then add in the pears. At this stage, it's best to cover with a lid to allow the fruits to come to a boil and release all that sweet juice. After 10 minutes, take off the lid and allow the fruits to cook for a further 20 minutes until the liquid reduces. Once the fruits are cooked nicely, transfer them into a separate bowl to cool down. I used whole cinnamon bits instead of powder, so they need to be taken out from the apple and pear filling. The next stage is to prepare the butter for the crepes, and this is done in three steps. Step one is to blend all the wet ingredients in a blender. So here I'm adding one and a half cups of coconut milk, one mashed banana, around half a cup of date paste, which I prepared using eight pitted and skinned dates mashed up in some water, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one to two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice to add a bit of sharpness to the batter mixture. And now it's time to give all these wonderful wet ingredients a good blend to create a nice smooth mixture for the batter. So just before I get on to step two, I'm gonna quickly show you how to prepare some oat flour. For this, you'll need two cups of rolled oats, then use a spice grinder to grind the oats into a fine flour. It's as simple as that, and so much cheaper too. Then all you do is simply use a large sieve to separate the fine flour from the grains. Oats are a great source of plant protein and good carbs, containing vitamins, minerals, dietary fibre and resistant starch that does wonders for digestion and gut health, also making you feel fuller for a lot longer. Step 2 is to mix all the dry ingredients together in a large bowl, then give them a good mix using a whisk to help all the dry ingredients blend together nicely. Step three is to gradually add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients in the large bowl. Using a whisk will help to even out all the lumps and combine all the ingredients together into a nice smooth batter. Then allow the batter to set for around one hour. The mixture will thicken slightly so you can add a little more coconut milk for the right consistency which is similar to a pancake but slightly thinner. Here I'm using an oil spray to lightly coat my non-stick frying pan. You can also use a brush or paper, but please do be careful not to touch the hot pan. Then add a ladle full of batter mixture into the frying pan on medium heat. It's just the right amount to make the perfect size crepe. Allow the crepe to cook on medium to low heat for around five to seven minutes. A little patience will be required at this stage so that the crepe cooks nicely with a golden colour without burning. After you flip the crepe over, it will take half the time to cook, so make sure it doesn't burn. And now it's time for the fun part. Making the crepe rolls is fairly easy. You just place some apple and pear cinnamon mixture onto the edge of the crepe and roll it out like so. And voila!
Now I'm going to quickly prepare some dates for that delicious date and peanut butter sauce. Here I'm using 15 soft pulpy dates and giving them a rinse in cold water. This would also help to loosen the skin on the dates, making them easier to peel. Then gently peel off the skin off of the dates and remember to take out the pit like so. Then repeat for the rest of the dates. Dates are an excellent natural sweetener that will instantly boost energy levels and satisfy those sugar cravings, keeping hunger pangs at bay. They have a high soluble fibre content, packed with vitamins and minerals, as well as disease-fighting antioxidants that help to lower bad cholesterol. In a bowl of two cups of warm water, add all the pitted and skin dates, then squish them with your hands to help them dissolve in the water more quickly. <laughs> this is great for relieving stress too. I'm using one whole organic vanilla pod for my date and peanut butter sauce for a more rich aromatic quality that will elevate the senses to infinity. <laughs> Cut the vanilla pod in half and scoop out the intensely fragrant vanilla seeds from the pod and add them to the paste. In fact, throw in the entire vanilla pod to intensify the flavour and scent in the sauce. Transfer the dates and vanilla pod into a saucepan and add one heaped tablespoon of smooth peanut butter, which will gradually dissolve as the sauce cooks on. Make sure to stir continuously as the sauce comes to a boil and as it does, the peanut butter will have dissolved completely. And remember to take out the vanilla pot because the sauce will need a quick blend to create a lovely smooth and silky texture. Smell is one of the most powerful senses and nothing says home like the smell of cooking. The aroma in my home is absolutely blissful. The warm, comforting vanilla, combined with the satiating peanuts and sweet dates, is deliciously divine. This most definitely is aromatherapy at its finest, and it's surely raising my vibrational frequency to the highest state. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to put a like, subscribe and comment your thoughts or questions. Enjoy!